Uh, oh, you've never seen Madagascar, like the 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 movie Madagascar. I think it was number three, and they're like, Moto Moto likes you. You know, you ever oh, seen that? Like the Ice Age movies or whatever. No, it was Madagascar. It was oh, kind of okay. like another seen, I, animal I, movie where they talk and like. Yeah, I, I know the movie you're talking about. I just didn't see it. Uh, there's a there's a real no, sexual you. scene in one of the in one of the movies. <laughs> Really, and the like, it's like the the, the female hippos in the mm-hmm. water, and yeah. then you got the male hippo, and they're like, and all the girls are like, "Moto, moto likes you," and it's like the song mm-hmm. is, "I like him thick, I like him chunky," and it like zooms in on his butt, and like you Ugh. know, it's like this really sexual scene with an animal, and it's just like, this is a kids movie, <laughs> dude. That's fucking creepy as shit. Yes, if you look it up on YouTube, but I want to There's been to some clips on on TikTok. People try to recreate. Mm, yeah, and they show their girlfriends like big overblown camel cunt. <laughs> well, mostly it's like zoomed on the dude because it's moto moto. He's this big, you know, mm. animal and stuff like that. But you know, it's like it shows the girl, but it shows like the guy being like all. Oh, muscular and stuff like that all like sexy mm. and muscular yeah you like that big sexy and muscular guy don't you <laughs> you're you know you're a bad boy sometimes you're a bad boy why am i a bad boy joe you're a naughty boy is what i mean to say you're naughty <laughs> no really like you're a naughty little fuck why am i a naughty little fuck oh you just are man you're a naughty fuck. What's up, Dave? What's up, guys? I'm fucking exhausted. Wow, dude. I didn't expect you to come in here like, hey, guys. Well, fuck. I can uh, I can build my energy. No, I'm just kidding. I've got man. a control of my chi. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Like, yeah, would you have a long day at work and shit? No, I just, I had, I didn't sleep well last night. My my lower back hurts. Doesn't help that I got to sit my ass all day fucking in front of a computer. But like, yeah, I don't know. It's just like the world's a draining place. <laughs> yeah. What could I say? That's true. That's true for sure. Um, okay. It's good to see you, uh, Dave. Um, <laughs> I'm confused here, Joe. I thought this between, this podcast was between me and you. <laughs> Joe just asked me to he said, well he offered if I wanted to jump in if he didn't want that and you know that's what Joe yeah uh, my bad Tommy I just I'll, I just I'll leave. Was, that's cool I kind of asked Dave to come hang out and then I asked you at the same time and then you both said yes so I was like yeah why don't you we can hang out with Dave and we'll do we'll do honestly with you but you know we'll also have no, Dave it, I mean again I've got no problem leaving again you know, I wanted to talk also to Joe about like some stuff about Final Frontier News because, you know, we are trying to make that sort of a uh, successful thing. And um, and I just, you know, like about that, Joe, specifically yeah, yeah. Now that I have you here, I just wanted to let you know that I was just throwing out ideas. Again, I'm just trying to think about how to – and again, like the idea that I said about the episode – well, I mean, uh, again, what um, that's <laughs> totally up to you. But, I mean, you could always say, like, featuring special guest Dave Rose or something like that. But, hey, if that's what you want, man, I, I've got no problems. As JB would say, going to have to pass. Wow. Well, you know JB's a faggot, right? <laughs> <laughs> At times. I hope you're recording that, Joe. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Dude, uh, I wish I stopped recording for a minute while we were talking Final Frontier stuff, and I missed Tommy being like, "Well, Dave, I'd just like to have me be me and Joe." Oh, damn it! That was a good clip, but what do you mean? What is this? What has Drew just sent me? Hold on a minute, Tommy. Did you say this? I want to fuck Debbie until cum comes out of her fucking eyeballs. What? Oh my god! I want to fuck Debbie until cum comes out of her fucking eyeballs. Tommy, did you that say that? That was a statement that somebody else had made, and it was just something I was saying off the top of my head. And I wasn't directing it towards her. Oh. Like lovely jubblies? Oh when they God. weren't referring to tits? <laughs> oh, my God, dude. <laughs> All right, well, listen. So, so you don't want to have Dave as our special guest, and then you could actually... Um, 
get an idea if we could do a little show where we talk conspiracies with Dave. Yeah, good point. Yeah. We could kind of sample that, but uh, we don't have to. Um, yeah, because like Tommy, like what's your interest in conspiracy theories? Like, well, like, again, I don't like that word personally, but like, that's what people call it. So let's go with that. Like, what's your interest? Like, what do you think that we could, all three of us could each add to like a show specifically about conspiracy theories? There, you know, there's a lot of conspiracies to a lot of things, you know, like the, the, the conspiracy that Walt Disney is not dead, that he is secretly in a frozen chamber or something like that. There's a I lot of, cons- it. there's well, a lot of conspiracies to a lot of things. Frozen chamber. I can believe are, that. Yeah. Uh, I could see the frozen thing because they thought they could do that back then. And so, like, yeah, we could really get into sort of, um, you know, freezing of heads and brains. And, and then that can kind of get into trying to live beyond our bodies and going into computers. And, like, that could get into a whole big topic, Tommy. Um, so, uh, you know, so, Tommy, it's up to you. I'm going to let you know right now. If you want, going forward, I'll hang up on Dave. We'll do honestly. Or, yeah, I'd like to do honestly with you and just leave Dave out of it. If that, no, no disrespect <laughs> for you, Dave. You disrespected me. Jesus. Or we can right now do a little uh, 10 minute thing, 15 minute thing, and then stop it and put it up as something else and then do honestly. What about that? Honestly. Honestly, I like to do honestly because I don't get to do with you a lot. Well, did you hear what I said, though, Tommy? We could you, would sit- just get, you would get two shows featuring so, you rather than one. Did you hear what I said, Tommy? We would do. We would continue talking like we are now for like 10, 15 minutes, put that up as a show, but then we hang up on Dave and then me and you record honestly, just me and you. All right. Sure. Man. You, want, you want to do that? that? Do that. All right. Because yeah, I'm, sure. I'm recording this right now. So let's continue this conversation for five, 10 minutes or whatever. And uh, then we'll we'll hang up and we'll do honestly separately now that everybody. Uh, my now, God. something I've noticed that that Tommy talks about <laughs> a fair bit is about ghosts. Yeah. Now, what do you think about that? Do you think they exist? Do you think it's a sham? What are your thoughts? I don't want to fuck Debbie until cum comes out of her fucking eyeballs. Oh, Joe, please don't play that clip. <laughs> I'm kidding. Go ahead. Answer the question. I'm sorry. I had to do it once. <laughs> He'll cut it out. Well, I think JB actually uh, played that all over his show. Uh, I think that's why Drew sent it to me. But um, yeah, so yeah, well, we, hey, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll talk allow about that later. for this to be cut out and stuff. So I'll start over. Tommy, what do you think about the existence of ghosts? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's a sham? Like, I, I feel like I have to have an experience. I know that they're there, but I, have, I feel like I have to have an experience in order to believe in something. And uh, you know, I, I want to. Uh, oh yeah. Start- um. What? What? what um. Bef- before you continue answering this question, Tommy, um, what experience have you had religiously, like with God? I mean, I feel like that I've had many experiences with God. You know, um, at one point, you know, I was, you know, uh, I was looking for my camera and I could not find it. And something said to me, look out in the field. And I went out in the field with my flashlight in the middle of the night and there was my camera. Why was it out in the field? Because I had been walking home and I stuck it in my trench coat and I had a hole in my trench coat. I didn't realize that. And I had been sick for a couple days, but it had been raining for three days. Mm. And Tommy, you realize that's day. your that's your deductive reasoning in your brain. No, I right? got to interject. Uh, I don't. For one, I don't think that being religious is um, in any way sort of equivalent to believing in God. Um, well, my point was, he I said no- to have faith in something, he would have to have an experience. And so he doesn't believe in ghosts yet quite because he doesn't. Yeah, but you, you, you stated that as a as a a basis of religion. And I don't necessarily believe that you need to be religious to believe in a higher power. Oh, OK. Yeah, I, I, I get you there. I agree with that. But I'm wondering why, you know, so, Tommy, you don't believe in ghosts. I kind of on the fence about it. I'm kind but, of on but the fence. But you believe in ghosts. a higher power God because you're. You were like, something told me, I think it could be in the field, my camera, which is what your brain does every day. Like, hey, check this, or maybe it's in there, or maybe it's there. You, you but be- I felt like it was a higher source than my brain telling me where it was. Okay, now right. let's let's go with this then. Um, if ghosts potentially are not real, 
but I, I'm assuming that you believe uh, because you have professed, um, you know, to be a Christian, and there's absolutely yes. nothing wrong with that. But within Christ- Christian doctrine, there is the existence of angels. So I would assume that you then believe in angels. So what I'm would be asking is, what would be the difference between the two? Because you can use the same reasoning about the existence of angels as you can with ghosts in the sense that you can't necessarily perceive them, but their influence on the world by many people's standards is is provable. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. You know, I, and a lot of people say when spirits are around, you know, that you get a colder feeling in the room. And I, I I've never felt, uh, I've never really been in a haunted place where I felt a cold draft, like, or if it's not, if it's naturally hot in an area, I've never experienced any of these signs that they say that are happening in a haunted experience. <laughs> Mm. Well, that is true. Uh, the The cold draft is something that is uh, spoken of countless times by anybody that's investigating these sorts of things or anyone that's encountered them. So that, uh, you know, obviously you're looking out for some of these signs that might indicate uh, some sort of existence. But I would have to say that those uh, features might not always be present. So again, just uh, as I postulated with you know the equivalency of angels and ghosts, since you can't necessarily prove absolutely that they exist, but people of faith will claim, you know, these are the effects of their existence, and therefore that's my belief in their existence. Um, can you not see where I'm coming from in the sense that? Um, if angels exist, then there's definitely a possibility that ghosts exist, especially because we can't detect either using current scientific terms. Basically, if angels exist, then <laughs> ghosts should exist. I, I'm sorry to – maybe I should like shorten down my answers. Usually this is what I say on Final Frontier News, but like maybe I just got to like shorten it down to like – I think you just made Tommy's head explode or something because he just was dead silent. He was like, overload. Sorry, I'm... No, well, it's fine. Apparently Tommy. somebody I mean, is somebody is trying to use a small clip of mine to blackmail me to me saying that, and it's no, absolutely no, okay. pissing me off oh, that JB deb- would do shit like this to me. Oh, what do you oh. mean? How do you know Tim about that? Tim just sent me that clip you just played, and now clearly what... What what's going on here is somebody is editing down that clip, which one of you guys said at one point, or one of your donations said that they wanted to do that to Deb A, and I was just overloaded talking about the fact that everybody shits on her. And so JB, now you're saying- somebody's taking a fucking clip of me trying to prove that I said that bullshit, which I was just relieving of aggravation because so many people shit on her sometimes. So, so you're and saying so? So JB played this on his show, but Ken sent it to you. Yeah, and Ken sent it to me, and you just played it, and then apparently, you know, derailed shit is now doing this to me. You know, playing that, sending that to you too. Derailed shit. I mean, sorry, Chris. I just, I'm pissed off right now, and I'm just. Who's Chris? Chris derailed. You know, you you have him on your show all the time. Gatekeeper Drew. Yeah. Ah. Oh, okay. Well, this whole thing has been derailed by this whole situation. Yeah, um, and uh, sorry, I just got hey. flustered. I apologize. I you could, I, you could edit this out. If you <laughs> no, want. I, I think apologize. this is quite. On, I'm a sick person, Tommy. I think this is actually hilarious. Um. Wow. I mean, this is crazy. Uh. Well. Okay. Back so, to ghosts or should I go back to ghosts? Or you want to talk about this? Go back to ghosts. I, All right, so my, whatever my, you want, Tommy. It's up to you, man. I mean, I'm I'm on any I'm on either one. I mean, so, I mean this know. is also kind of interesting too. Yeah, I'm, I'm like <laughs> this is whacked out. I mean, but so like personally, Tommy, like I just you know that people want to rag on you. You know, like you can't really do anything about it. People Person, rag on me all the like time. I don't want to do JB's show anymore because I feel like I can't trust the guy. Like I don't know if it was JB that did it. Or, well, like, I can't blame you there. You can't never trust a faggot. Oh God! You know, I I don't God, know who I, I can trust anymore. It's like I can't myself. trust anybody and more family anymore. friendly. Well, and listen, <clears throat> I, I I don't know. 
I, I don't know what's going on 100%. I really don't, I'm not sure. JB played a clip or something, and, like, Drew cut it, and obviously he sends everything to everybody else. And wh yeah, why did Drew's why, a dickhead. Wh Thank you, Drew. You're a dickhead. Wait a minute. Why did Ken, but didn't Ken, who, why did, what, what does Ken have to do with this? Ken sent me a sent me a message of the clip too apparently i guess the people are sending it around to everybody trying to make me look like an asshole like normal what like just make it's what time you, to make tommy look like a bad guy what do you send it to you, you? Know? What, what did ken send it to you like like haha -ha, look at like what the hell tommy or like no he's like what the hell tommy and i'm like i i would <laughs> I wouldn't purposely try to say that about my best friend. It's, a, it's an out of context. It's it's a joke. It's an out of context clip. You didn't really say that. It's a, you know, it's an out of context. Yeah. Funny. Tommy, you don't need to defend yourself on these sorts of things because people yeah. that actually know you know you don't say these sorts of things without you know yeah. some sort of thought process going through them. Yeah, yeah. there's been times where you've said dumb things, but I've said dumb things a ton of times. Has his Joe. But like the thing is though, like when if you were to if someone was to like play this in court and be like, look, Tommy is such a bad person, people would be like, that's taken out of context. It's cl it clearly is. It, right. It's so detectable from what you're saying, and you can't just like put that out the of the blue word, and say, I don't oh, hate Tommy's a bad people. guy. Yeah, Tommy. I mean, it, you now you can get mad if so, that somebody did this, like, and that you're annoyed by it, and I, and I get that if you are, and you know, I, I'd play it myself. I think it's funny. It's funny to, to take you out of... So that's the joke, Tommy, is like, it's funny to take you out of context saying that. So that's what's going on. It's funny to do that. Did you really say that about her? No, you didn't say that about her. And, you know, anybody who believed that obviously is dumb, but it's just funny to take you out of context, I think. And, I and think Joe, I still apologize about not featuring you in here. Like I just... It, it makes me... I feel horrible every day that we didn't feature you in the... Whatever you must like, have slipped your mind that I, <laughs> nah, but it's all it's okay. Don't worry man. about that, Tommy. Who because cares? you know that JCS Army has some comic book artists in there, and they could probably make a new comic and feature Joe Cronin in there. Maybe it would be a Joe Cronin uh, comic featuring Tommy NC Twenty Ten. I would love it if Joe had his own comic book, his own mystery fictional, realistic world of Joe Cronin ish. Oh. You know, maybe, you know, just have a lot of characters that Joe would love to take a chainsaw to their head, you know? Hmm. Wow. Oh, shit. Um, or shoving them into an icebox and locking the door. Oh. That's not as bad as the chainsaw comment. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. Wow. Tommy, you're a murderer. I'm devious, but that's just sinister. You're a murderer, uh, Tommy. Uh, you know, I've watched some murder documentaries about stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, this Richard would not Kuczynski. play very well in court, Tommy. Just think about that. Oh, God. What? Nothing. <laughs> All right, listen. Um, let's wrap it up with... Let's close in on the on the whole ghost thing real quick, and we'll end it on the ghost thing before we do honestly. So, okay. with the whole ghost thing... What other experiences have you had that tell you there is a God and you've spoken with God? I mean, I've, I've, uh, I mean that I've only had a few times that I've, I've actually heard God speak to me, and on different occasions, and you know, uh, the the belief that He is a higher power, you know, and why are we here is a whole entire technical conversation. That is just like it could blow the human mind. It it just, you know, I. Here's what the thing. are the experiences that you had with God? You had the camera one. You said you had the camera one. Besides the camera, camera one. one, yeah. Uh, besides, what, what all, else did you have? Maybe check the field. That's that's a memory thing, I believe, but that's fine. You know, I, I as of now I can't remember mm. some of the other experiences mm. I had with God, but so God you know, exists but, because you left a camera in the field and whatever. Okay, I get it. But 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 you don't believe ghosts exist uh, because you know there's been no experiences there. Yeah, and the thing is, like, um, 
You know, when, I, I'm on the edge of believing because I've been watching a lot of haunted series. Mm. You know, like with Omar Gosh TV, I've been watching a lot of his stuff. Ugh. With haunted think stuff. they sometimes hype it up though. I yeah, mean, you're a fake. Hollywood man. You know how movies are made, and don't you think sometimes some of these shows are just blown out of proportion, mm. and they try to make it all sexy and you know attractive to people that like horror movies rather than those that just want to know <laughs> the truth if it exists. Yeah, that stuff's kind yeah, of Yeah, I fake. think that Omar maybe might hype things up sometimes or maybe have a guy in the background running around the woods or something like that just to give a motion that somewhere is haunted, but I don't want to call him fake. But, you know, it's people uh, – I've been watching some other YouTubers. I will. He's fake. Watching. Huh? I will. He's a fake. You've watched <laughs> his series? Yeah, I watched a little bit of him. Uh, that guy uh... – I don't like him. I'm just biased. That's all. He might be a great guy. He seems like he got a family and everything. I think he's a douchebag. He might be a great guy, well, I'll actually. I'll say this. He, uh, <laughs> he he raised the money for us for Playlist Live, but yeah, I know. the moment I like we got into like Florida, James Worley was doing everything. He was getting us to our hotel. He was getting us to the convention. Like Omar really kind of shot one video with me and really didn't do anything with me while we were there at the convention. Yeah, he, well, he just wanted to hug you and say, oh, I'm with the guy. See, I took care of him. I think he's and fake. Really, I don't even have his phone number anymore. He doesn't really talk to me anymore. Like we, I get, I sent him a copy of the comic book, but he, I, I haven't seen a response video out of him. Yeah. See, I think he's a fake. And the funny thing is, is like I I never got involved much with any of this stuff, but I was the one all along sitting back. Like, the I was the one that was called fake, but I think this guy is the fake. Um, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Could be a good good dude. Try to do. I mean, I think he gave money to you, so that's pretty cool. But you know, you wonder about people's motives in these situations. So I'm gonna go back to this, Tommy. When you were a kid, and I'm not trying to be an asshole here, to everybody, but I want to go back to when you were a kid. Did your parents raise you, telling you? that there were ghosts and read you stories about how there's ghosts and no, have you they, go to they, classes they, about ghosts. They, they, they taught me about the soul and how people have, you know, they, they there's a soul when people pass away, their soul goes to heaven, you know. Like, so you were indoctrinated into religion, but not about ghosts, really. Not really, just about the spirit, about so the human spirit. If I, had and, if I had brainwashed you from a young age that there were ghosts, do you think you'd believe in them? I don't know. It's hard to say, Joe. Hmm. Interesting. We'll end on that. Is religion a brainwashing? Um, the <laughs> I don't Thanks. think it's brainwashing. I think it is. But I, but I think any religion, I think any check? religion that people True. have is being brainwashed. You know, like you know. Well, because like if you tell, people believe what they want to believe in, you know. Not really. You don't. You no, know, you really didn't have a choice. You were kind of told about all this stuff, and so you were grown up on it. And uh, if if you raise your kid telling them about all this stuff, they're gonna they're more apt to sort of fall into it and believe it because. To go against it would be like, it's very hard to go against something that you were molded into. Now, well, Joe, you're traditionally Catholic, am I right? Because you live in Boston, am I right. right? You're traditionally Catholic. And I'm a great example. Let me give you my example. I was I was taking Sunday school classes. I actually kind of believed in the stuff a little bit. I was like, wow, it seems so nice, and I can't believe it. Like, like it, it was very good. It was a good feeling I got from it, kind of like, okay, cool, and Jesus did this, and I believe... And what happened was, as I started to question it a little bit in my mind, I wasn't sure. But then when my father died, I really began to question things. And when those answers that I got were, I found out that most of these people didn't really have answers or logical answers in most cases. That is when I said, wow, I think this is all bullshit. Now, the, the real answer to, you know, why does someone's family member, when, when someone says, my mom died or my dad died and why didn't God bring my kid back or whatever the case is, the answer should be, you know, well, God can't just save your family members. You know, you have free will and so he can't just help you because that would be wrong. You know, he you have to live your life and go on. So that would be the answer, but I never got that answer from people. They just didn't know what the hell they were talking about. So anyway, I think this this woke me out of religion so instead of falling in line and just being religious and well my life was so happy so it must be real 
um, I kind of, sh you know, got out of line and drove out of the lane, if, if that makes any sense. And perhaps you might have done the same, too. Like, maybe if your dad got in a horrific car accident when you were six or something, you'd be like, well, geez, what all that stuff they said, I believed it, and I just thought about it. Because they make you feel like it's all good and happy and happy and good and yay. And then when something bad happens, you're like, well, wait a minute, because that's what makes you question faith and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, I'm done with my little tangent there. I just had a very, I wonder if I raised a kid and explained to him that, that ghosts were real. And I don't know if I believe in ghosts, but I believe in something's happening with some kind of uh, energy or crossover or something. Uh, but Dave, go ahead so we can close out of this. And I'm not trying to attack uh, anybody's uh, any religion or anything like that. I'm just bringing up an interesting question of we could really brainwash people easily. Well, um, without going into the religion, because there's a fair bit of stuff that I actually could disagree with you, um, Joe. Yeah. I will also actually argue for you by saying that dogma is not pragma. And it's difficult to explain uh, that sort of concept. But basically, if you've got to like lift your foot and pray while hopping up and down at a certain time of day, rather than live your life, and be a good person while you try to sort of live up to those ideals of what your religion or your faith believes, I think that's the difference between dogma and pragma. Because again, you can go into a musty old building to pray to a gold gilded idol, which is what the Catholic Church definitely espouses, espouses or you can make the world a better place and you can treat you know people like humans and try to leave a better world for your children that there, there's a difference in that regard when it comes to faith mm -hmm. and understanding religion versus spirituality and, and i want to um, keep it at that because then we'd be going for another two hours or something <laughs> i agree tommy what do you think I think it's until comes out of you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, if you want more, patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Me and Tommy are about to record, honestly, the new episode on Patreon. We'll see you. Leave some love for Tommy down below. And thanks to Dave Rose for stopping in.